Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm working in my home garden. Um, I'm gonna create a flower garden where the raised beds used to be. Let's go this way, that way you're not looking in the sun. Where the raised beds used to be, uh, not the raised beds, the um, vertical trellises used to be. So the raised beds are still there. Um, but I kind of wanted to create a flower garden. I'm going to plant some perennials, but mostly annuals. And, um, but I have a lot of like infrastructure stuff to do. And I'm hoping to get that all done today. Don't know if I'll get it all planted, but I at least want to do the infrastructure and get that done. So let me show you the before picture, which is kind of scary. So here's the before. I've kind of got the hose laid out here. I'm going to have a big round area here. And then in the corners, I'm going to do like corner beds like here. Can you see that black tubing? And then there's going to be a path between the round bed and the tubing. And same thing over in this corner. You can see the tubing here, and this is where the round bed is. Um, these pots are being moved. These pots are going to kind of go in that area. They're going to go this way a little bit more. Um, I've got this little raised bed here. I still don't know what I'm going to put in there. And... Yeah, that's pretty much it. So in the middle here, where my flamingo is, that's the center of the circle. And I bought a new, some statues, some sandhill crane statues. This area, we have a lot of sandhill cranes. Um, so, they're going to be the focal point of this center garden. And then I'm just going to plant a lot of herbs in here, some flowers. Um, I did buy some perennial flowers, which are right here. These are all perennials. Um, so yeah, just to add some flower, flowering interest. And then I'll do annuals for the rest to fill it in. So here's some of my annuals that I got. And there's some more in here as well, plus some herbs. So that's what's gonna go in here. Cause I, I really wanted a big herb garden and that's what this is gonna be. So I thought I'd give you a good look at the before. Looks terrible. But um, I think it's going to look pretty cool when it's done. If not, you know, you just pull everything out and, <laughs> and plant grass or put a pool in or whatever. That's what I always threaten to do is put a pool in here. So let me start working on this and I'll kind of give you updates as I go along. Okay, so this is the end of day one. Uh, the, sorry, but the sun is going to be in your eyes. I'll turn around in a second. So here's my center. And then what I did in the corners was just cut it out like that. And then same over here rhubarb plant stain and then in the I put some pots there I don't know if those are going to stay there or not so yeah I think this is going to turn out good I think that ah, the gate attacked me um, I think it's going to 
be a nice centerpiece for my garden. Um, this is a lot of work, especially when it's this hot. So I've been patching holes in this landscape fabric, like these holes where the tomatoes were and, or the different plants were. I've been patching them here. You can see I've patched it and just kind of fastening everything down on the path. Eventually I'll have a mulch path, but for right now, I'm just gonna leave this. I still have to cut this out. It has to just be a little more rounded, but I was tired, so I didn't want to do that anymore. So yeah, there'll be a path around here. I haven't quite decided what I'm gonna do for edging. Um, we'll see. But I know that this, the ground is so dry. It's just so dry. And my rototiller doesn't, the gas line broke on it. So I don't know, really, I'm gonna have to wait for Tim to come down, have him take a look at that. But I think I'm gonna take half a day off on, of work one day this week and um, rent a rototiller, a little rototiller, and just dig this up. And I'll grab some other dirt and put it in here. Um, because to have to shovel this is just too much for me to do. So, yeah, I only have to do the two corners and then this area. And I'm going to amend it with some, I think I'm going to put some potting soil in it because that's like got a bunch of uh it'll lighten up the soil is what i'm trying to say and then um put some compost in here and it should be good to go so yeah and then i'll eventually get some mulch and figure out what i'm gonna do for borders so but for right now this is where i'm gonna leave it and um I will be back when I get it all rototilled. All right, see you in a bit. Well, that was fun. I haven't used a pickaxe in, I can't tell you how long. Talk about a good workout. Skip the gym, man. Just go grab a pickaxe and start digging in your garden. So I got everything. Originally, I started rototilling this, but the ground is so hard. I mean, you could tell exactly where my rows were because that ground was fairly soft. The rest of it's been is so hard because it's been walked on for years. So I ended up using the pickaxe. I'm gonna have something in the middle here, so I don't need to do that. But so I did around the outside here, and then I did the two beds, that one there and that one there. Pickaxe that whole area and then ran over it with the rototiller. So now as we walk over here. I am gonna add some stuff to this soil. Um, the soil here is really sandy. Uh, I mean, it's, it's got some good dirt in it, but it's pretty sandy. So I went to the city's compost site and I picked up some compost. I'm just gonna spread that out, you know, kind of around here and then in these gardens. And then I also grabbed some potting mix and the reason I wanted potting mix is because it's got peat in it 
these, this particular brand I got from Menards, um, it really smells like cow manure. So I bet it has a lot of cow manure in it. Um, but I hope it's got peat in it too. Uh, since I'm not using it for my vegetables, I didn't get the organic and it was 10 bucks a bag. So I'll figure I'll put a half a bag here, half a bag over there and two bags over here. I also have one bag left of this black cow. I'll spread that out too. That one's a couple years old. So yeah, this is what I'm going to be doing next, just spreading it out. And uh, then I'll till it one more time and then I'm all done. Now I do own a little rototiller like this, but the gas line broke. I don't know if I said that in the last section. So I went to Home Depot and rented this. Home Depot is a really good uh, tool rental program. And I think it was 30 bucks for this. It's a Mantis. It does a pretty good job. Um, runs pretty well. It doesn't do very well on hard ground, but then again, I don't think mine would have either. So yeah, they're well worth the 30 bucks at Home Depot. Well, there you have it, folks. All done. I got everything raked. I got the pathways swept. This is gonna be my new flower and herb garden. So yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. So I'm not gonna plant anything today because uh, we're supposed to get to 39 degrees on uh, Wednesday night, two nights, no, tomorrow night. And um, which means we'll be colder than that here. So I'm just going to leave it. But yeah, I'm really happy. That was hard work. It was really hard work. But I did it. So thank you all so much for watching. Let me know if you guys have flower gardens as well as vegetable gardens because this will be my first. Well, this is going to be herbs in here and flowers. But yeah, this is going to be my first flower garden, really. So I hope you enjoyed watching this and um, I will see you guys soon. Happy gardening, everybody. Bye bye.